So for today, we will be talking about the part, second part of chapter 4, which includes some basic relationships of probability, conditional probability, and Bayes theorem. So let's start with this, some basic relationships of probability. Now, in order for you to fully understand the other basic relationships of probability, first is you really need to master how to get the probability. Because if you don't know how to get the probability, or katong assigning of probabilities, of course, maglisod kag sabut when it comes to the relationships na. Okay? Mas ni one step higher naman siya, yung level of difficulty, no? So, it is important that you should master first the counting rules and the assigning of probabilities in order for you to fully understand what we will be discussing or what I will be discussing for you today. So, there are some basic probability relationships that can be used to compute the probability of an event without knowledge of all the sample point probabilities. So, as you can remember, di ba, ang katong event ni mo is... It is just a collection. When you say event, it is just a collection of sample points. So, there is atong uh, basic relationships, or when we talk about the basic relationships, basically, it deals with events. Events of probabilities lang ato ang gi um, discuss ari or ato ang gi cover. So, we have four different relationships. The complement of an event, the union of two events, intersection of two events and the mutually exclusive events. So, let's start with complement of an event. So, when we say complement, it is when the complement of a certain event, so let's say event A, is defined to be the event consisting of all sample points that are not in event A. So, Meaning, the complement of event A, for example, in this case, is denoted by this symbol. So, naana siya naka superscript nga C sa babaw. So, that means, ang ipangita ni mo is ang imuhang complement. O, para easier to understand, you can see here sa graph, if this is your sample space, kaning rectangle, mo na ang imuhang sample space, your event, di ba, event is just a collection of sample points, your event is kanilang nasa circle. So, that is event A. When you are asked for the complement, meaning, tanang sample points nga walay labot sa imuhang event A. So, mo na ang complement sa imuhang event. So, nata dari formula. So, meaning, the probability of event A plus the probability of the complement of event A should be equal to 1. Again, equal to 1, kaya pun siya kayo, tumud, maman yung tibuok, sample space. So, again, kung mo ingat tag-complement, mora na siya ang points, nga, sample points, na walay labot sa imuhang event nga gi-specify. So, mora ang pasabot sa imuhang complement of an event. So, in this example, the complement of Event A is shaded. So, kanina nakablue nga part, mauna ang imuhang complement sa event A. So, let's have an example. For instance, you are given a deck of cards. Diba? Deck, you are to draw a deck of cards. So, ang kada card ni mo, diba? There are 52 cards in a deck. So, ang imuhang card is na siya, kada card is na probability of 1 over 52. So, that is under classical method, diba? 1 over 52. Now, for example, ang imuhang event, oops, for instance, atong event is event na hearts. So, kung mo tag event na hearts, pila mang kabuok ang hearts sa isa ka deck. Diba? There are 13. So, ang probability sa imong event na hearts is 13 over 52. Ah. ah let's change it first. 13 over 52. So, mo na ang probability sa imong heart. Or, so, ato ang kwaon ang answer. So, 25%. So, as you can see here, ang event na hearts is na siya probability of 25%. Let's change it to percent 4. Or no, decimal na lang. 
So, nasa probability of 25% or 0.25. Now, pwede nga, wait sa ato sa i-change, pwede siya mixing. Na. So, if you are asked kung unsa ang complement sa event na heart, so again, you are asked for the complement of event heart Diba? Unsa man ang imuhang complement sa imuhang event na hearts? So, if ang nabilong sa imuhang event is 13 kabuok, so pila man ang wala na appeal sa imuhang event. Diba? Diba? Mga man na siya ang imuhang complement. Those that are not included, those sample points that are not included in the event. So, pila man ang kabuok sample points. So, Unsan man ang mga complements event heart? So, you have the clubs, diamonds, o ang spades. So, pila man na sila kabuok. Diba? 39 na sila kabuok. So, you have ang complements sa imuhang event heart para makuha din siya. It is 39 over 52. So, or that is 75% or 0.75. Now, again, as mentioned here, the probability of your event, so in this case, the probability of event na heart, plus the probability of your complement, so in this case, 0.75, should always be equal to 1. So, ito yung butang diri. Plus, your complement, as again, should always be equal to 1. So, mora na ang pasabot sa imuhang complement. Meaning, ang complement is more na siya ang walay labot or wala na labot sa imuhang event. So, that is the complement of an event. Now, let's move on to, uh, before anything, di, di ba mauni siya ang formula, but then, bagbantay ka if unsa ang gihatag sa imuha. Kay what if ang gihatag na sa imuha is the complement na the probability of the complement then you are asked for the probability of the event so pwede na nimo balihon ang imong formula to sa maunsa na formula 1 minus the probability of your complement let's oops we can't insert it's hard to insert pero Ano lang, ato lang sa siyang EAC. Ah. There, because dili siya mong superscript. So, the probability of 1 minus the probability of your event is equal to the probability of your... Or, 1 minus the probability of the complement of the event is equal to the probability of your event. So, ano na siya. So, dali pa kayo no, ang probability. Now, let's move on to the addition, addition law. When we say addition law, it provides a way to compute the probability of event A or B or both A and B occurring. So, combination na siya of more than two events, two or more events. So, pwede siya under sa imuhang. Um, addition, uh, addition law. So, again, addition law is helpful when you are interested in knowing the, probabil the probability that at least one of two events occur. So, one ang sa imuhang addition law. Now, the addition law is written as like this. The probability of the union of A and B is equal to the probability of A plus probability of B less the probability of A less the probability of the intersection of A and B. So, ato nang i-discuss or ato anang i um, tagsa tagsa on. So, in order for you to fully understand the addition law, there are two concepts that you need to remember. So, that is the union of two events and the intersection of events. Kaninga part is nag-indicate siya sa union, kaninga part is nag-indicate siya sa imuhang intersection. So, let's start first with the union. 
<clears throat> when you say union of two events, it is when both event A or this me or this includes all the sample points containing or found in event A and B or both. So, mo na ang pasabot sa imuhang union. So, if mo tanaw ta diri sa diagram nato no? Again, our sample space is kaning nasa rectangle. Now, if you are asked for the union, awa ang makita ninyo is, si event A, nasa shade, so meaning kana nga sample points event A. Si event B is na po si shade, so apil iha mga sample points. O apil ang intersection or kung asa nag, asa nag overlap si event A o B. So kung moingan ganit ang union, tanan. Tanan nga sample points ni A o ni B or both ang pasabot. So again, mo na siya ang imuhang union ha. So it, it contains all sample points that are in A or B, or both. Oh, so, kana. Muna ang pasabot sa imuhang union. Now, let's have an example. Ari lang yapunta sa ito ang deck of cards. Ha? <clears throat> okay. Union, again, union of two events. Kanila is two events, but it can apply to any number of events, ha? Union is event A or event B. A or B or both. Now, if arita sa itong um, deck of cards, we'll have the event na Diamonds. Oh, ano sa event daya? Nata event diamonds. Ito na lang complete para di libog. Oh, event na diamonds meaning tanang cards nga nag-include or na ay diamonds. Ilahang koan. So, pila man nakabuok, diba? Ang, ang nasa imuhang event diamonds is pila man asla kabuok nga diamond ang ilahang cards. So, there are 13. No, so, there are 13 kabuok na diamonds. Now, Ari, that is our first event. Now, our second event is ato ang, for instance, event faces. So, di ba, in, in, in a deck of cards, is naman na mga faces. Ano sa mga faces? Imuhang jack, queens, jacks, queens, o imuhang kings. So, di ba, muna sa imuhang cards is silang Kana sila nga card is mo nang na-eye face. So, pila man kabuok out of a deck of cards, pila makabuok ang na-eye faces. So, di ba, there are, pila, there are 12. Di ba? 12 na kabuok ang na-eye, 12 na kabuok jacks, queens, and kings, all in all. So, ang imuhang probability for the second event is 12 over 52. Oops. Wala pa na ito ha. Ito lang sangi, ato sangi fraction form kay para makita ninyo ang sample points. Sa event diamonds, 13 over 52, meaning na siya 13 kabuok sample points. Sa event nga faces, 12 over 52, meaning na siya 12 kabuok sample points. Di ba? Para mas easier ni mo pag-identify. Pero kani ito ang formula is muna ni ang probability ha. Muna ni ang probability sa event nga diamond o probability sa event nga faces. Pero again, di-show lang na or wala lang na. Wala pag show ang final amount or ang computed amount kay para mas easy ninyo pag-sabot kung kasi mahitabo. So, Again, we have the diamond na you, we have the event na diamond and the event na faces. Now, when we say union, it includes all sample points. So, meaning ang kaning mga nasa event plus kaning mga naasa faces. So, kani ilahang tanang sample points mauna ang naasa imuhang union. Now, if mo balik ta sa tong addition nga formula, If mo balik no joke. If mo balik tare, ang addition law pertains to the union of the events. 
So, unsaon nato pagkuha niya sa probability sa union? Ari na mo come in ang concept sa imuhang intersection. So, at least, kabaw na kahanga, ang concept sa imuhang union is combination ni A o ni B. Like, tanang points ni A o tanang points ni B. Mauna ang imuhang union. <coughs> Now, sa intersection, <coughs> Intersection refers only to the points that are in both A and B. Again, ang intersection only refers to the points that are in both A and B. And it is denoted by a symbol na kani, kanang nakabali na U. So, horseshoe nga symbol. Ang union is kani, naka U. Ano siya is nakabali. So, mo na ang imuhang intersection. So, if na diri sa diagram, if pangayuan ka sa intersection, is katulang ang ilahang shared nga mga points. Again, the intersection is only their shared points. 